Hey everyone, imagine I have an application with a couple of elements and when I click the master switch, they change classes so they turn on and off. This application is implemented using jQuery custom events. So for example, a single light bulb reacts to light on and light off custom event. There is a master switch which triggers lights off, light on on the light bulbs and also it triggers a custom global event, lights toggle. I can test this application using the UI. I can visit the page, confirm the lights are off, I can click the master switch and confirm that both light bulbs are on. So when it runs, I can see how the master switch changes the behavior and both lights are on and then both lights are off. How do we confirm that the application actually triggers this global event light toggle from Cypress Test? Let's write a test. We will visit the page and click, let's say, master switch an odd number of times. We can see the result. Well, right now it seems to be working, but we're not spying or listening to this event. So our goal is to somehow register our own event click, uh, handler using on so that we can confirm that this is called correctly. We definitely have to set up the listener before we click correct. So what we can do is get the document of our application using site document command. We get the object doc. Then we can try, and this is incorrect, we can try using the bundled Cypress jQuery to wrap the document and register our own custom event handler. And we can create a stub and give it an Alice. So that later, after we click, we can confirm that we call that uh, stub three times. This is not going to work. Notice that the stub never was called. And this has to do with how Cypress embeds the application under test. We have the top window and we do have two iframes. One is where our application is running and another one is where the spec is running. When you use Cypress jQuery, this jQuery is created inside the iframe. Our application includes its own jQuery, right? Because it uses, it needs it for application. So when we registered this custom event handler, we registered using a different version and a different instance of jQuery compared to application jQuery. If we want to register properly, to be notified by this trigger, we have to use the same jQuery object as the application. So the easiest thing to do is to get the Sci window, then we get the window object, and then grab Sci document, we get the doc, and instead of using Cypress jQuery, we'll just say window jQuery. So the application window has a jQuery object, and then we register it using uh, the same thing. So notice now it's working because we're using the same jQuery that triggers the events. So that's good. Kind of long explanation. Uh, the easiest way to shorten this is to know that site visit yields the window so we can directly attach then to site visit and chain it together. Another thing is that we are grabbing the property dollar sign. So instead of getting the window, we can say directly dollar sign. Okay, and then we get a jQuery, and we don't need this, and we can say here directly, just use this jQuery object. So that's another thing what we can do. And another thing is that we call in uh, on on wrapping the document. So the easiest thing to do here would be to say we grab the document, then whatever you get there, call the function. On that, right? Because jQuery with dollar sign is a function. You get the document, yields the document reference, and then you call the jQuery on top of that, which will yield the jQuery wrapped object. So like dollar sign doc. And then we want to call on on that. So we can use Cypress invoke methods. The name of the method is on and then the rest of the arguments. And we don't need anything here. Still works. And notice every time we call it, still toggles. So just to explain it once more time, load the application that will have its own jQuery object. We're grabbing the jQuery property from the window. 
Then we're getting the document, wrapping it in jQuery from the application and invoking on that wrapped document a method on to register our toggle stub. Then we're using the UI to trigger the events and we confirm that our stub that was registered for jQuery custom event was really called correctly.